And number one, one Jordan Poole. Come on. He's having a good season as well. And number one, Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole? Not on the front. And number one, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan Poole. Too no, far for me. Number one, Jordan yeah, Poole. I mean, that's just crazy, right? How does a player go from so much promise to be a superstar to a potential shacked in a full MVP? Jordan Poole was labeled as a mini Steph Curry, the future of Golden State. Analysts gave such high praise to this young man. Listen, I think Jordan Poole is the perfect complement to the Splash Brothers. Mm -hmm. He can sub for one of them or the other, and he can also play with them. He makes them very lethal. When we talk about the Warriors being legitimate title contenders this year with how Phoenix has looked, Memphis and others, it's because of Jordan Poole. And now he can't even start on the worst team in the NBA. And the sole reason why he's fallen off so drastically is simply complacency. He's got the massive contract, a ring, and now he doesn't care at all. The NBA has become something Poole just shows up for, not shows out for. I mean, look at him on this play, where he thinks Porzingis is just an everyday Joe playing pickup at the rec, not an elite shot blocker. If nonchalant was a play, this would be it. And nearly every game, Jordan Poole will do something that leaves you asking the five W's. And is there any better indication of this besides an entire lowlights video from House of Highlights? I mean, this dude really got a video on House of Highlights for having zero points. That is utterly insane. But the confusing part about Jordan Poole is the fact that he is very talented and possesses the abilities to be a very good player. Like look at him on this play, where he hits a Paul George like move on Paul George. We're talking about a guy that used to drop 20 and 30 bombs on the regular on somewhat solid efficiencies. A player that was capable of carrying the Golden State offense while Curry was out during the season. And now that player is basically unrecognizable. According to Basketball Reference's true shooting metric, Poole is currently the least efficient scorer in the league. Kuzma. Poole deep three. Air ball. A complete turnaround from the player we once knew. And it's becoming more and more evident that Jordan Poole simply cannot thrive as a franchise player. In the Golden State days, Poole served mainly as a second or third option, rather than the main guy. Meaning defenses weren't honed in on him as the main target allowing for more spacing and scoring opportunities. And having a guy like Draymond that's able to facilitate while Jordan moved off ball helps a ton. Like in this play here, Jordan gives the ball to Draymond up top and immediately slips the screen for an easy layup. It's important to note that Clay also plays a role in this because his perimeter threat is the reason Poole had such an open lane. But Clay wasn't the only perimeter threat because the Warriors also have a man named Steph Curry. Curry's gravity allowed Poole to get open threes as well as layups, like in this play here. Steph basically draws in the entire Nuggets defense, leaving Poole wide open for three. It's plays like these that made Poole appear better than he normally is by himself, because he was essentially forced into taking good shots rather than creating everything by himself like he tries to do now on the Wizards. These good shots created from the skills of his teammates allowed Jordan to get loads of points on good efficiency, negating the chance for him to shoot poor shots or turn it over. So I think it's safe to say that Jordan relied somewhat heavily on the Warrior system for him to look statistically super. But that is not to say that Poole can only be good in a specific system. But I'm saying the system definitely is a major factor in the level Poole performs at. And we're seeing it now with Jordan in Washington's system. The old Poole is basically gone. But in my opinion, it's still too early to say that the Poole party is completely gone. Because over the last few games, Poole has had some outings reminiscent to his past. It's simply the consistency of these games that needs work. However, if he continues to go about the NBA as something he simply shows up for, Jordan will eventually drown in his own pool. But what do you guys think? Is the old Jordan pool already gone forever? Or is there a small chance he still exists deep down? And is there a chance we will get to see the Golden State pool party again in Washington? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.